Yeah. Yeah. You hear the frogs? Yeah. Yeah. When I got the place, boys, it was just a completely bare paddock. It's two hectares or five acres. And um, when we bought it, we spent all our money getting the land, and I thought, oh, we won't have any money to build a house. So I thought, how will we make a house pretty cheap? And so I thought, well, let's have a go making it out of recycled stuff. So made it out of mud bricks, and um, I bought a, um, a bridge an old bridge, so all the timber off that, and uh, people would be, you know, in trucks would be clearing bush and whatever, and uh, I get them to dump their logs here. So you spread them round, it make, you know, it makes it look a bit more natural. By doing all of this and creating this, this landscaping and bush, um, all the wildlife started moving in, and that's when you start to think, gee, this is good fun, you know, possums and all the beautiful little birds, and and that's why I thought, well, let's get it happening you know, right around the back and along the creek and get a trail happening where you can just keep walking and riding your bike all the way down the creek to the beach and um, out to the Devil Bend Reservoir. Have you heard of that? That's only a few kilometres away. You get the track happening out there and then eventually tracks everywhere so you can, you know, ride your bikes out on the weekends. I come from a farm and uh, when my dad bought the land when I was a little kid, it was all bush and he cleared his first paddock, he cleared it completely and the mum got pretty peeved off. She said there were beautiful black boys and wildflowers there. So when he cleared his next paddock, he left lots of patches of bush. So it's 500 acres now and it's hilly. There's bush everywhere and it's a beautiful place to go home to because you've got so much wildlife. So when I bought this and it was completely bare, I thought, well, I've got to have the bush around and that's what did it for me, I think. It's Bob. And there's another dog, Maggie, but I think she's, you'll see her later, she's round the back. Yeah. You'll see the primary school kids, they'll go out the back, and they've already made all these homes for wildlife, and they're pretty excited, and they come down and they just get into it. They're shifting rocks and logs around, and they're running from the spot where they get all their stuff. You know, there's gravel and plants and tools and whatever. They're running backwards and forwards, making their possum boxes and things, so it's a... Uh, You'll see that, that'll be, that'll be good fun. I'll call it Gary. <laughs> Gary, it's Gary, okay? See the little one? Yeah, it was messed up. Hold it by its bum. <laughs> oh, how cute is this? Looks like a hamster. Oh my God, it's so cute, it's so small. Another yes. peacock, another peacock. Oh <laughs> There's one on the Enjoy moss. This morning I've been helping build animal habitats like this possum highway up here. It's just a rope from one tree to another so possums can easily get across. Come on Henry. Yeah, right. Ashley, can I use I'm going to get it Henry, don't pull it. Matt. Hey, don't I'm, uh, I got, you got it. it. You go. awesome. Like we get it, one of those like wooden no. big logs and sticking it in okay. and then we're going to put the um, dirt back in. And um, what do we use it for? Uh, like so. Good looks. Um, good looks. <laughs> and lizards could climb up it. Cool. And so then a plant can grow next to it. And it, it can wrap itself yeah, like around. Oh, yeah. So that's for the lizards, all those rocks there? Yeah, yeah. 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 There's um, a lot of mi lizards have already moved into the habitats that the kids have made. But at, right at the moment, we're in the middle of June, and the, the blue tongue lizards are generally all. Uh, hibernating so we try not to disturb them too much because um, you know they, they may die later on if you're sort of handling them when it's when they're sleeping yeah it's a great little spot we've made here this is um you know these are the pier posts from the old mornington pier so have you guys jumped off the mornington pier mm. before or uh, yeah can you remember only a year or so ago when it was all timber these big old posts were yeah, up there and um Henry, have you seen how they've knocked all these posts out and they're putting in a concrete pier now? Yeah. So what's happened is um, they had all of these truckloads of these and I got a couple of truckloads and um, made these this seating out of them and I reckon it looks all right. Now that this project's been going for a few months and kids have been coming down during school hours and making their wildlife habitats, the kids are down here on the weekends 
and they ride their bikes down with their mates and they're making stuff and full of kids. I think people in general won't relate to it unless they've been out in it and, then, and they enjoy it and then they can start thinking, well, gee, let's, let's make the most of this environment. Once you're out enjoying it, that's when people relate to it. And that's, what, that's the purpose of what I'm trying to do, is get people out seeing it and enjoying it. It's so small, it's like cat's eyes. In the deep part way down there, which is about three metres deep, there's these big fish called uh, silver perch. About that big, and they swim out, and they come right up around the hut here, and the water's about that deep. And you can just see them, but you can, more, you can, really, you can see where they're swimming, because all the reeds are moving. Yeah. Then as the water goes down, as it comes into summer, they all go back to the deep bit. Once you start putting the stuff on the ground, all the understory, then you get all the little birds and lizards, you know, blue tongue, blue tongues and skinks and everything. You get the occasional snake, but they're all right. They're not too much of a worry. They always slither off. Three or four different types of ducks. There's black ducks and wood ducks and teal. And anyway, they all nest. See all the logs and things, they nest in those and um, there's little ducks everywhere, little ducklings. If you can create bush and wildlife around you and all the, the wildlife is there, it just makes, makes it a much nicer home. You feel like you've got a great big family around you. And I hope that's what the kids are doing, um, what they're feeling, the primary school kids, when they're coming down and doing these homes for wildlife in this land care project, that they're just having a lot of fun making homes for wildlife and getting the animals to move in around them. It's good to have a little spot where you can you know, get away from everything and sit around the fire, isn't it?